Hello everyone and welcome back to Hans Wine Free, the Romania campaign. Hans Wine Free, the other finest hour. With me, Megwana Palora and the Megwine Lot. Last time we conquered the uh, well the Balkans. All of them. <laughs> we conquered uh, the Hungary, Yugoslavia, Greece, Albania, Bulgaria and Turkey. Basically all the minor powers in England that uh, Germany or uh, Russia aren't gonna fight over them soon. Italy would have fought over Yugoslavia along with Germany and Greece uh, and over Greece, but fuck them. <laughs> and now we have 101 in the slave capacity. We are now... F uh, I was gonna say third in Europe, but I'm pretty sure France has more. But of all the Axis powers, we are the third in terms of industrial capacity. We, um, with Italy coming behind us at number 4 with 96 in the civil capacity. So we are also gonna go for this, keep making industrial capacity, because why not? Right, don't need that. Don't need that. Fortunately, we are um, suffering in terms of manpower. So, that's the future. Oh, fucking. Right, well, we dealt with them. So we may be industrial, industrially powerful. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Mm. For the boats! <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, rebase there for now. We are uh, industrial, industrially powerful, however, we are... Uh, um, whoa, that's one of weird. We are severely lacking in... Make up your goddamn mind. <laughs> in manpower. Which is vital if you wanna actually... Oh. Fucking Turks, get back here. Oh, it's an armor division? Okay, I guess. Right, you guys, deal with these guys, come back. Because, as you can see, our uh, army is tied down dealing with fucking rebels. It's also very problematic because in the finest, their finest hour... Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. Now that the foreign minister is of the firm belief that the ministry is in need of some restructuring. In his opinion, some of the senior diplomats are too hesitant towards change, and therefore not up to par with our country's current demands. He is convinced that replacing some of the more troublesome ministers would improve the situation considerably. He has already composed a list of possible candidates, learned men that are known to favor more aggressive politics. Daily dissent or tendency to drift. Okay. Eesh. Eesh. Holy shit. That took a lot of industrial capacity. And for the love of me, I can't remember what exactly leadership is. Well, it's base 3.58, another plus 3.50, and massive education investment. I don't know exactly what. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, industrial based, but I don't know how exactly and why. So yes, we need manpower. We still need 15.7 manpower before we will be at full capacity. And then we need a bunch of manpower to deploy... Um, I was thinking garrisons, but most likely not. Maybe we'll deploy some garrisons in the port and build militia and cavalry to deal with the rebels. So yeah, as I was saying, um, in the final hour, the insurgency, I guess, the partisan effect has been changed. Uh, so much so that apparently it's kind of bugged. Yeah, we're done with that. As in, the AI cannot deal with it. So, Germany, after a while, will lose against the Soviets because it can't dispatch a handful of divisions to deal with... Uh, Polish partisans, basically. They will dispatch far too many divisions, weakening the front and allowing the USS, um, USSR to actually get the upper hand. 
don't know if the fucking yeah, this is gonna get annoying. Right. So yes. As I said this is gonna be a um well, I mean, oh, look at this fly! Hey, Germany! For limes? No, not yet. Eh, whatever. Influences Belgium, Romania, and actually China is influencing Germany. Really? Belgium is influencing Germany? China, I understand. Uh, before Germany uh, allied themselves with Japan, they were uh, selling materials and training the Chinese. I'm only influencing Germany. What are you influencing? Mm, yeah, I don't know. Aligning towards the Axis, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, fucking Turks. Oi! Deal with them. So um, yeah, we're probably gonna dispatch militia in uh, industrial areas, keep the industrial zones uh, under control. We have garrisons on the harbors to keep uh, um, invasions out. Oh yeah, anti-tank guns. Uh, fuck. Oh, more seeing researching this. Yes. And then have a bunch of cavalry as mobile reserves to take care of unimportant uh, places. We do, however, could really use some fucking more draft. Why not? Because our unity, our fucking unity. If we could get unity up, we can maybe get this two year draft, even three year draft. No. Come on. Free press. Fucking free press. How can I change that? Just... Uh, press. What do I need? Ruling party. Party is not a democracy. At war. Mm. Mm. God damn, Garda the Fear really lost. The fastest party really lost in the elections. But then an autocrat, socialist communities, market liberal, social liberal. God damn it, Germany, do your fucking stuff. Okay, so where is. Nope, there. Officers were doing well. I have 170% efficiency. Think I lost some of this? I need more spies to increase our. Uh, National unity. Hopefully, they only do that. They might be dealing with Germany spies, which is kind of stupid. But whatever. So, uh, assuming we can uh, get our uh, well, security forces in place before Germany invades uh, the low countries, which I, that never made sense. What the hell are the low countries up there? Anyway, before they invade the low countries and attack France. And assuming we can actually join the Axis, then I'll uh, attack in the Middle East, deal with uh, United Kingdom's puppets as well as France and the United Kingdom. Basically, we're aiming for oil fields. How much oil? Doesn't tell them, but it's oil. It's all there, all there. There's some industrial capacity there, and that's pretty much it. Not much, yeah, well, oil. <laughs> and, you know, the objective being to cut off the English in the Mediterranean by taking over the Suez Canal. And, you know, help Italy deal with it. Of course, that will expose me to attacks from uh, the Asian, the Asian British forces and the Anzac, because, you know, Australia is right there as well as New Zealand and the rest of the British allies and Commonwealth countries. That said, we should be fine. Yeah, it's not really renowned for its uh, <laughs> infrastructure, so it should take us a while. If we can't actually do that, if we can't join the war on them soon enough, we'll wait until uh, Barbarossa. And not join the Axis until Germany actually starts Barbarossa. Once Germany starts Bar Barbarossa, we'll join the Axis 
and attack with them and the, with the goal being to clobber the Soviet Union. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna get anything out of that operation because because of the peace treaty basically even if I take all of this which I did at once the Germans will take it all back as hey oh invite to faction we can now join good excellent fantastic right well stop aligning towards faction so we don't waste all uh, no, I guess not Right. So, yes, because of the peace treaty, Germany will get all of the Western, uh, all the European Soviet lands. Yes, 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 good enough. Also, gonna need to upgrade this one point or another. Or not, I don't know. Yes, yes, special forces, Finland, cancel, blah, blah, blah. Because if we join the ally, the Axis, and are unable to attack anywhere, we'll be bombed to shit by the Allies. We're getting there, though. And keep in mind, Germany hasn't even invaded Poland. We're fine. We are totally fine. Also, at this point, uh, Poland had a uh, mutual assistance pact, basically, with Romania in you know historically and both countries were required to rush to the aid of the other one zoo if one was attacked uh, the poll didn't enforce that pact didn't request uh, romania to do it because um, they wanted to have a neutral country to, from which to get supplies and have access to the seas and british empire because you couldn't Send supplies past Germany. Yep. As it is, however, Poland didn't last long enough. Romania did allow a couple of Polish units to evacuate to the North Sea and to the British Empire. Germany, the Molotov Ribbentrop Pact. On August 23, 1939, Hitler and Stalin signed an aggression pact called the Molotov Ribbentrop, Ribbentrop Treaty. Secret protocols of the treaty defined the territorial spheres of influence Germany and Russia would have after a successful invasion of Poland. Hitler had been craft creating justification and laying plans for such an invasion. Excuse me a bit. Really now? Too loud. <laughs> for such an invasion since uh, April. According to the agreement, Russia, Russia will have control over Latvia, Estonia and Finland. Estonia, Latvia. Uh, while Germany would gain control over Lithuania, there it is, and Danzig, which at this point was a an autonomous autonomous region, right? Uh -huh. Poland would be partitioned into three major areas: the Vartland area bordering Germany. Would be annexed outright to German rise. No known German inhabitants expelled to the east, over 77,000 square miles of eastern Polish lands. With a population of over 13 million would become Russian territory. The central area would become a German protectorate named the General Government, governed by a German civilian, civilian authority. Oh, it is coming. Right. Luckily, I have troops in the area. Come on, we need to do this. So yes, World War... Ooh. Unity! Fucking unity. Free year draft. Do it. <laughs> About time. This is planet in impact, peacetime and power rotation. Yes, officer recruitment. Excellent. Alright, battle of blah, blah, blah. Don't care. We just need manpower, so we can de redeploy our fucking armies. At this point, we're just scattered all over the place, and uh, you know, to fight a war, I'm gonna need my troops. Germany is mobilizing. Only now, yes, it's gonna take a while. It is 19, 27 August 1949. Let's watch Germany do its stuff. 
I know you wanna you send can me in. Oh, also, because we are now on friendly terms with them, we can also trader. No, nope, no, nope. buy production license. There we go. And here, what the hell is this? Panzer, camp wagon, free armor car, artillery, mountain. Looks like tactical bombers. Combat air support, cavalry, destroyers, engineer. Basically, we can uh, build some of the stuff they need. Fighters, interceptor actually. In the mine, not be a bad idea. Since we're still lacking in manpower. Wait. I oh, know it's the same in my own way. No, so wait a minute. What the hell is this? Tell me! Uh, might be combat air patrol, as in carrier based. Or escort fighters, measures me B of one of Or, I don't know, interceptor fighters or combat air patrols, basically. Or escorts. One of those. You might be one of those. And a naval bomber. Strategic bombers, really? But as you can see, we cannot build. Capital ships, battle cruisers, heavy cruisers, or uh, battleships, or carriers. Because no, they, they want to be asking that. So, yes, we'll get ourselves our, our manpower. Oh, 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 okay, it started. <laughs> Germany has decided Danzig or war. Last chance for peace. Ribbentrop asks the Poles for the return of Danzig and a strip of German territory across the Polish corridor. On which a German run road and rail link could be built. This time Hitler made real resistance. On 31st March 1949, the British and French guaranteed the borders of Poland. Encouraged by the guarantees, the Poles were not about to compromise. Then, as 1949 progressed, the position of the Soviet Union became critical. If Stalin allied himself with Britain, Germany would run the risk of a two front war if she pushed the world to conflict. British attempts at negotiation with the Soviet Union were, however, lackluster for both ideological and practical reasons. Stalin had purged thousands of, thousands of officers from the Red Army. The Soviets were perceived to be a third-rate military force. Stalin was also un unwilling to be pushed into a war which offered him little in terms of his own narrow self-interest. Then the Nazis pulled what Manfred von Schroeder called a stroke of courage and genius. They signed their own treaty with the Soviet Union, the greatest ideological enemy. I might have read this last time as well. Ethiopia is mobilizing, uprising, and they will that, and Blitzkrieg. While others prepare for a rerun of the last war, Germany will show the world the new ra phase of warfare. So, I do believe it has begun? Yes, it has. And we're done with that one. So, let's watch Germany in action. Japan is mobilizing, Denmark is mobilizing. So, the war actually started with an old German uh, warship. I'm not sure if it was a heavy cruiser, probably a heavy cruiser, going to dancing port on a you know a ceremonial purpose and bombarding the defenses. Germans also had uh, mobilized, well, uh, moved troops into the German Polish area. So attack from all sides. Mangu was born right, right. Let's see, Germany in action. Luxembourg is mobilizing, yes, yes. So once Danzig is surrounded, these territories will be, yep. They didn't actually surround Danzig, they just took it all over the place. Yes, Germany is making... I was gonna say Germany is making progress, but they actually lost some things. These are German lands. Oh, they... What? Yes, the Poles took all of these. But um, the Polish German area was united. So that contract actually ends pretty soon. Division was trapped there. Industrial no efficiency. Yes, I know. Poland is giving us energy in exchange for money. Sure, why not? It's not like they're gonna survive long enough. Eh, decent progress. No, it seems to be some heavy fighting around this area. Well, there was heavy fighting, apparently they just dealt with that problem. 
And there's Warsaw. Here's the thing though, Russia will most likely demand land from us at one point. And when I say land, I mean a lot of land. Basically everything between the rivers here. And eventually that also means two industrial capacity. Which kinda sucks. But you know what you're gonna do. Or they might demand it for Germany if we're in the Axis since we... Ooh, manpower! We are finally in the positive with manpower. Pretty sure I'm gonna accept if the Soviets demand it, cause I can't fight them, especially not now. Even though I have an infantry corps doing nothing there. <sighs> so again, we're just waiting on manpower. And there it goes. Germany in force, we take our cores on Poland. Germany in force, conquer of Poland. And the Molotov Ribbentrop. Well, Ribbentrop back. And the Soviets got all of this. Here's the thing, unlike the Germans, which get the cores, and this is the central government, as you can see here, central government is um, a conquered alien. All of these others are next. Yeah, it's complicated to explain. Basically, partisans and nationalism and everything else. It's actually easier if you have the area conquered as opposed to um, well not conquered, under control as opposed to an ex, since you can dispatch police, military police to suppress the partisans. In uh, next provinces you can't. You have to wait until nationalism goes down. It goes down in about 20-50 years. <laughs> 20 years or so it starts going down very slowly. Horribly so. So yes. Capacity, we're almost done, I want you up there in case we lose some of our stuff. 112 in this look at Mechanized offensive, radios, um, just take a look here, how am I doing? The rest of the production is 1940. Yeah, we want this, this is a lot, very good. Industrial production and efficiency basically because they gave us bonuses. Wow, who doesn't like bonuses? Also, we probably want this as well. Mechanical offensive. Radar. Hmm. Right, let's take a look. Well, not actually, let's not take a look like that. Let's take a look like this. Uh, right, right, by production license. How much? No, oh, it actually tell me. Oh, it's an interceptor. Right. And this one is a multi roll. Right, right, right. Max speed for on the KPH. I see 15. Interceptor is 14. Air defense 7.50. Air attack 8 as opposed to. Uh, air attack 675, air defense 875. Uh, why is the air attack on me? Uh, right. So obviously the interceptors are better in uh, dogfights against anything else. But here's the problem, the range, 145 kilometers per hour as opposed to 350. Ideally for what for my needs, uh, that would be... I'd actually need uh, interceptors. Although, I don't actually have any airfields where I want them. Maybe yeah, I should have built some airfields, but no, no, no. Industrial is always better than anything else. And besides, look, there's an airfield right there. <laughs> right, let's hey, 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 let's let's talk. I'm trying to decide if I should, if I have the manpower to get some of these uh, rather than uh, more industrial capacity. And I think I'll get multi rolls though, because well, the only thing that's gonna send interceptors my way is gonna be the Soviet Union, and Germany is probably gonna deal with those. What I do need is long-range cover, 
basically enough uh, uh, I want all of my land to be covered against allied air bombing bombers basically 15 it's uh, 14 and again that's 14 maybe Repay, that's four serial. I am three parallel, that's gonna be twelve. Gonna be four of those. What am I missing? Ah, manpower. <laughs> that's yes. I can build five of them now. I actually will wait a bit more. The point being to get our manpower. I, will, I actually never fucking mind because we need that manpower for other stuff. Specifically, Nisha. Let me, let me take a look here. Yes, I know, I keep watching here. Mm, oh, yeah, I don't think I can get. Yeah, garrison from them. Garrison five. My garrison is. Fuck, uh, I don't know. Two. That kind of makes sense. <laughs> so yes, Germany has some serious uh, infantry. Light mm -hmm. armor. They have tigers. That's not really true, they shouldn't have tigers yet. But they have heavy armor. She's amazing! Motorized, militia, militia 5. I think we'll get some militia. How much? 1.3. Right. I'm gonna get this for. Well, if they wanna give us. Give these for no money. Okay, let's give them some money. Want uh, I'm gonna speed them up up oh, too much. God damn it, not enough manpower. <laughs> we wait. Can't do anything else but wait and build in this capacity. And we have a spy. <laughs> right, uh conservatives time. No, we don't need that. Resources, consumer goes to me. Accessibility to access, land intel, me. Organization again, yes, good enough. Supply consumption, cruiser. We might actually want to buy more cruisers from uh, the other guys who are actually dominant in terms, masters of the seas. <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> Tsuki class destroyers because obviously they are better at naval. Last time I did it, I had a mixed light fleet of uh, Japanese destroyers and Italian cruisers, light cruisers. It was fun and a battleship <laughs> because I really wanted a battleship. <laughs> it was an old World War One battleship, but I had it. I built it myself. And then I used it to star the Russians in um, Sevastopol. Because it was a pain, I couldn't actually attack them, I had to surround them here in the province and then only when I took the ports could I actually press on the attack, they just resisted me at every turn. Oh, 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 Germany next, Denmark. Hey! So Germany, oh Germany, let's actually huh, see who has the best militia. Oh Germany. There's Militia. Militia 5. Right, you have Militia 5. I have pretty sure Militia crap. <laughs> militia 2, yes. It's most... There, English, please. Use your words. Mostly because I don't have really trained Militia 4. Japan? Japan, do you have Militia 6? I don't think you do, but... Yeah. 
it's a five. Yeah, yeah sure, we'll buy it from Germany. Should have a decent amount of manpower now. It costs us. Where's the manpower cost? Two. Right. Impossible. Give me here some money. Four. It's not gonna be enough. Well, it's a start, so what the hell. Oh, you bastards! Japan! Hey, Japan! Come on, man, we're friends, are we? Give me some militia. <laughs> Obviously, I only have one two groups of four of them. God damn it, I hate you. Oh, well, they're likely. Oh, assholes! Don't be like that. What do you want? We'll give them money for energy. Fuck hell. Never mind. Can I get some energy, please? We would offer to buy. And it was. Oh. I'm a dumbass. Bye. How much energy do I need? A lot. I'm gonna buy energy for one buck. Obviously, I'm losing supplies now. I'm because I'm have a uh, I have a bigger industrial capacity. There we go. Right. Well, I guess Italy. Maybe Italy. Maybe Italy. Come on. Let me let me have some fucking militia, man. I just saw rebels spawn in. Uh, In groups of one militia. Yes. No. Fuck off. Sweden is mobilizing. Don't be an asshole. I could make my own. But my own sucks. Then again, I don't. Doesn't. It's not really a big idea. Big deal. All right. Uh, can you actually get them for cheap? Get more of them. Oops, never mind. You make five of them. And then I'll. Yep. Yeah. Doesn't really matter. Two militia of mine should handle one of theirs, which is how they spawn. But it's need. Oh, oh, what the fuck? Don't tell me that was. No, it was. Not. Get back there. Assholes. Hopefully by that time I actually have enough more. I don't need. Well, basically, ooh, Slovakia has been second in the axis. Welcome. Can I have some militia from you? <laughs> or I can have some transports or military. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> so I don't need force in the uh, garrison duty. Manpower. Power. Sheer firepower. I need deployment. I need coverage. I need my troops all over the place. Speaking of, this is how you do coverage. Alright. Switch to... Where is it? We've all risk. Right. Everyone. <laughs> so, security. Edit theater. Actually, I'm a dumbass. Okay, give me, give me that. So, everything... That's pink, is under the control of the security headquarters. Don't worry about that, I'm now gonna deploy garrisons in Romania because I don't need them. And the Frontline headquarters gets the other one. Basically Romania. And the front line against Russia. Well, it should be... I don't know. I don't know which one isn't mine. Because the map is not exactly... Nice, historical, accurate. All right, that should be it. Dip, 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 dip. it. Was easier to just select what not to be garrisons than you know, what should be. Is this Romanian? All right, good for now. Give me 
a evil disc. I don't think I got them all. Right. So once I actually deploy forces on these, these guys will actually do it. So we'll... Uh, where's... Right. Player control. No. Do not ever do this. Allow a unit organization. He's gonna just pop headquarters all over the place. It's gonna be annoying to deal with. So. Defensive stance. Right. Defensive stance. Yeah, sure. He needs 16 tank divisions, 47 infantry, 28. Really? Fuck off. I'm not gonna give you that. But you'll deal with what you have to. He's gonna want that shit. Usually the EA yeah, tends to exaggerate that. It's alright. So we'll have our... Oh. We'll have these guys up there. If I remember, in 1940 February. Yeah, Jesus. Well, it should be faster now, because I actually... No, 1940... What? Well, the set is going to be finished then. We need more, though. Not you. Give me more. Yeah, fine. So I need coverage. And because the security headquarters air control, he's gonna deal with all the pop-up partisans. And he should do that fine-ish. <sighs> Just need more manpower. And I think I'll actually end it here. Thank you all for watching. And I'm sorry if nothing actually happened, but you know, that's the deal. That's the problem with playing a somewhat minor nation. Even if I'm not that minor anymore. Since I'm getting the map, or we should be getting full of the land, but I guess everybody hates Romania. <laughs> Everyone that was conquered, anyway, so they wouldn't join. Even though we are supposedly using uh, draft conscription laws. Eh. Still easy to avoid. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the set and the, well, the information. The historical information that I may that may or may not be correct. <laughs> Goodbye everyone, have a good day.